Hello, Tom, Tom H. Magic here. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I, uh, by the time you see this video, just, just uh, start again. Hello, Tom H. Magic here. Welcome back to my channel. Um, since uh, uploading my last video, um, I have been working on another machine uh, to help everyone build. So, uh, this one is my randomized path drawer, maker, cloner, whichever you want to call it. It will randomize whatever block you want into a path, which you can uh, then draw just like my mountain uh, world edit machine. Uh, this would help you uh, build paths quicker. Um, and it's customizable um, in size and in block type. So just give you a little test, um, show you what I've been doing with it. But just like all my other machines, you drop the, the start button, you draw your path, and you press the stop button and there we go randomized I'm not sure if all these blocks will go in a path like this as everyone, anyone knows I'm not a builder um, so I just put them in to test hopefully it looks, it looks okay so let's go over the machine again I'm not going to do another block for block because you can pretty much see um, what's going on here and I go through slowly uh, what's in uh, most of the command blocks um, but I will explain the concept and how it works. So um, I've inputted this. If you watched my previous uh, two videos, you'll recognize this. Um, this is for the start and stop buttons. I haven't implemented the scoreboard one, which I did for the um, multiple mounting cloner. Um, but that was faster, uh, but it seemed a bit excessive for this one. But you can implement that same um same design if you want to um but this one works just fine um because you're not gonna stack this up like you would the 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 multiple mounting cloner um this is literally just to turn it off and on remotely um but what it does is if i grab a redstone block here um i've got armor stands here named path edit and they've all got different blocks underneath so you can have however many um obviously more than one but uh, two and above um you can have as many blocks as you want to go into the path and this is where it randomizes it before it clones to you um so if i just show you how it works that's it randomizing the path and um, you can make this quicker or slower um which i'll show you that in a second in one of the commands um but i've i was testing the quick the quickest and testing a slower one and i thought this this to be a good speed um really depends how many other command blocks um you have in your world and how big your world is depending on how much lag it causes um but that's how it works there so let's go through the commands these are the usual test for um, I named the start button path start this time so it's testing for all entities item and the name equals path start um, and then that comes out of a comparator and turns this on this is a kill it kills the same item to get rid of it uh, so this one is an impulse needs redstone command block and these are the repeat always active command blocks um, as you probably guessed, this is path stop, test for and kill. Um, and I eliminated uh, the dro hopper dropper combination like in my first uh, tutorial, um, and because this works essentially the, the exact same way, it was actually unnecessary. Um, but I had it in a larger design before I condensed it and 
Um, didn't even think to condense it down even more until after I released the tutorial. Um, and this it just has your item in uh, for the dropper dropper combination with a comparator coming out the um, the opposite one that the start inputs going in, and that goes into a block. Uh, this is our clone command, so the execute at your name and the relative squiggles and what we're cloning is this square here and we're just offsetting it minus one minus one minus one um, so that when you walk you're standing in the middle and it goes underneath you uh, what you can do if you have um, say my my ground level is at level three because I'm standing on level four uh, on the y coordinate you could um, remove this squiggle minus one and put just three in there make sure you have spaces in between when you put when you mix relative and actual coordinates together and what this would mean is when you set the machine off it would always clone to that y coordinate no matter how high you are means you can fly over your world and watch as it happens and stop it um, so that that's a, a possibility as well um, and that also mean if you accidentally fly you don't start building up uh, what that is also uh, setting off is these commands and now this would be as long or short uh, depending how many blocks you have in here now this is a 3x3 three three, um, so there's 9 in total um, because there's one for each block um, what that is doing is executing at a random um, armor stand so type equals armor stand name equals path edit uh, the relative coordinate squiggle 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 and then it's cloning the block underneath it into each position now each one of these are exactly the same in command however there's just one difference and it's moving this block then this block then this block and then so on so you're just tweaking the coordinates just by the x or um z coordinates just to target all all nine of these blocks and that's what that does um, the first one is a repeat needs redstone uh, command block and the rest are a uh, chain always active uh, we don't need conditionality because you want them all to run off anyway um, and if one of them doesn't fire there's no own heart no harm because it's going to cause a random effect anyway um, and then what you do is just put all your arm stands on the blocks you want so say if I just set this off so you can see it happening again if I didn't want the cobblestone to be part of that or the stone uh, just to make it the stone brick just remove those arm stands and now it's just cloning the ones underneath the arm stands giving us a, a different um, pattern each time um, so if I set this off now um, you'll see it's just just stone brick or the, the three types of stone brick um, before I forget this is your command block where you would set your delay now um, if I take the, t the ticks off uh, you'll see it's much faster still um, still usable um, as it does go through a lot faster might find that better uh, because it creates a much more random pattern um, and then if you want it slower just add more ticks to it I personally like two tick delay um, just because it, it, it doesn't go too fast um, just as all the other machines you want to add a ticking area to this area so it works uh, throughout the world so I will run that through quickly again uh, ticking area add I will choose circle myself my relative coordinates because I'm standing in the area I want it I'm going to do four wouldn't need four to be honest because that's four chunks um, but force of habit I always put four and I'm just going to call it path uh, for now so there's another ticking area so no matter where I am that will work if you want to add more more blocks to your randomizer or change the blocks um, 
I'll show you now. Let's say if we want to change it between grass path, gravel, and coarse dirt, put those blocks down, one of each. Get your armor stand. I've got my uh, name tag here from earlier. Put your armor stands on the blocks you want to clone or want to add to your randomizer. Name each armor stand. And we can see, we can just set this one off. That is now starting to randomize our path. Um, so if I use the machine, that will now make a path for me. Which is random. So, I hope you like the machine. Hope it becomes useful. As always, please like and subscribe. Um, I want to try and get this channel going. Uh, with lots of different helpful machines um, mainly command blocks but uh, I can chuck some redstone ones in there as well if anyone wants any so if there's something you want to see put a comment below and I'll try and build it for you um, please challenge me but thanks again for watching hope to see you soon